think there's a nest in there. Oh, hey. Hey guys, welcome to Westminster College Woods. I'm Bailey Felger. And I'm Justin Wilson. And this is one of the many bird boxes here on College Woods. Um, it's home to many of the different birds and other species around here. Oh, you want to see more? Follow us. Here in College Woods, we have many different shrubs that feed birds and butterflies alike. There's multifloral rose, trillium wildflower, spice bush, and also a lot of non-native bushes, but they still do their job. Hey guys, so College Woods is mainly a beech maple and old hickory forest. Um, the fruit from these trees provides nutrients to all the wildlife. Root system cavities like this one play huge roles in shelter for all the animals that live right here in the good old Westminster College woods. So guys, here in College Woods we have the stream that runs through about the middle of the property. It runs from north to south and it's only about a few inches deep. However, it is sufficient enough for the water source that the wildlife on this property needs. Now we will hear from Dr. Carrie Dewar, an expert on College Woods. Now the College Woods is uh, a, a plot of forest that is considered old growth, which means that it hasn't been disturbed in a considerable amount of time. So um, it's been close to 100 years since College Woods was disturbed. So there's a lot of old large trees that comprise the forest there. College Woods really is a unique habitat for this part of Pennsylvania. It's a rather small woodlot, but because it hasn't been disturbed in a long time, it provides a very um, unique environment for wildlife in the region. College Woods is um, not very well known by a lot of people at Westminster College, but it's a great place to take um, ecology labs to, to study forest diversity and forest dynamics. Um, there's also a very healthy amphibian population um, in the stream that runs through College Woods, uh, so it's a great place to study salamanders. There's also uh, a great bird community there, most of which are generalist species, uh, because it is a small woodlot and so there's a lot of influence of edge habitat so most of the species that breed there are, are general species that can tolerate edge conditions. Well guys, thanks for following us through College Woods today. We had a great time with you. Yep, hopefully you come experience it for yourself. Bye. See ya.